Hello everyone and welcome to the Six Yard Box. Recently we released a video on Jamal Horn, a level 3 referee with the Football Association. And today we're releasing a follow on video from that where we basically went to see the London Football Association senior mastermind group as they went to see Jamal officiate a match between Dulwich Hamlet and Toonham Mitcham United. We wanted to see what the LFA were doing in order to bring the next group of senior referees through the system. So we went down to Dulwich in order to see what was going on. Tootin and Mitcham are a Ryman Div 1 side, whilst Dulwich are a Ryman Prem side. So if Tootin win, you would like to see it as an upset. How much work is actually going into developing the next generation of referees that can go really far? I can only talk for, for London FA and I can talk for me. And what we do is we run uh, a mastermind meeting every month for all referees, everybody's invited. We also run a senior mastermind group. So we are trying our best to create the next generation of referees. The main role is developing referees, planning our training sessions, our fitness training, our uh, mental training. And that includes coming to events like this to watch more senior officials. What have you guys made of the game so far? It's quite an interesting game. Well managed. Uh, I think yeah, it's been good. I think it's been a fairly even game. Where both sides are attacking. So it's been quite end to end. Um, all the management opportunities have been used to the best of their ability, really. So, how many referees have you got here tonight? Uh, around 15 have come today just to watch the match, to try and pick up on little things that he does differently that maybe they can put into their game to see how he manages challenging incidents. And for people who are aspiring to get to level three where he is, it's fantastic because they can see the, the pointers and things that they can do in their own game and then in two days time, they can go out and put it into their match. So a referee is going into level four next season. What would you say is that, that key bit of advice they need to, to have before they start their new season? A level four referee, that's a great question. A level four referee needs to really understand the football that he's going into. At senior football levels, what we're talking about is, we're talking about numerical advantage. So, the more, the higher up you go the levels, the more it's a team game. When you're right down at the bottom, the bottom level on the parks here, is what we're talking about is, I've been fouled. Yeah. Whereas, when you go up to the Premier League level, I'm sorry, you've been fouled, but that's unlucky, we've got a numerical advantage. And well done. Did he come back to the 11? Yeah, can you then indicate one to me? I didn't see it. Maybe you only did it once? Do it back four or five times. Okay. Don't, don't do it once. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, yeah. exaggerating. What have you actually learned from the team in terms um, I think Jamal's management of off ball incidents has been good. Um, I've taken a few pointers off of that. Um, I also think he has dealt with the uh, what we call key match incidents well. What's a key match incident? Key match incident is a, an incident which could affect the rest of the game um, and it has it basically has an effect on the game it changes the games uh, it changes the game the way the game's progressing level four referees or referees who go further up do you feel that they get a little bit too critical and i'm including myself in that when i was level four of assessors do you think they blame assessors a bit too much that's a great question when when i was refereeing we used to blame the clubs and club marks. These days, referees blame the observers. I think it's just a, I said earlier that uh, football hasn't changed. 
refereeing hasn't changed. It's always somebody else's fault. If somebody is good enough, they will get through the system. If you missed Jamal's first video, feel free to click on the link provided or go to the Six Yard Box YouTube channel, our Facebook or Twitter pages and see that film and all the other ones that have recently been released. We're going to be bringing more regular content for you guys from July onwards, so we'll see you soon.